Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechaha Quarash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutation unto the elect. And I wanted to do a, a quick response to this video done by the elder Manat Zakba. The title of this video is Revelation 19, Malachi 3, and the 144,000 demon. All right, because there's demons, you know, jumping on particular men, all right, um, who just recently came in to try to establish doctrines that just aren't true, okay? And um, as the scriptures say, you have novices. And as Jude talks about, you're going to have those who crept in unawares, who, um, listen to the apostles doctrine and that was literally happening back then the apostles were teaching they had established a church all right and here it is you'd have men uh you know learn from them and then years later months later they're, they're they leave the church start talking madness using the foundation that they got from the apostles all right through the spirit of yahweh Yahshua, and then going and changing and making it into their own version and and we've seen this time and time again um and in this video the elder manata zakbak deal with this uh guy's uh video and i actually seen some videos from this guy um and a brother told me he saw the guy commented on my video and i guess he wants some attention are you trying to get understanding uh he could be a demon either way it goes you're going about it the wrong way and you're causing confusion you see, bringing up, you know, uh, the high priest Arya, apostle to heart or old school. These are things we don't even speak about. And here it is. You've been in maybe two, three years listening, learning. Maybe it could be longer. I don't know. But you just started making videos and, and you're bringing up things that, you know, you ought not, man. But this is what happens, you know, when pride kicks in and, you know, the, the scopeo is now up on this dude. Now, at the end of the day... He could be sincere, I don't know, but the dude is being proud, and we have to come through the spirit and, uh, and deal with these scriptures. Now, you can watch this video and get pretty much everything you need, and then you have this brother, the priest, all right, uh, the brother Karataza from Vegas, and his page is GMS Two or More Gathered in the name. And he did a response to the video. Malachi 3, 16 through 18 has nothing to do with the marriage in Revelation, the 19th chapter. Okay, these two videos, pretty much, that's the, that's all you need to uh, get understanding on this topic. All right, but uh, I'm going to just, through the spirit, uh, go into it real quick. You know, because ultimately the uh, argument that is being made, okay, the argument that's being made, is that when Yahweh Shah returns, he's only going to gather, okay? Can't take correction. Right. He's only going to gather in the, the elders page because uh, he got strikes on his other one, his Bible, Teacher SC7. Make sure you subscribe to both pages and get edified, all right? Um, but the argument is that when Yahweh Shah returns, only the 144 will be delivered. And everybody else will be left behind and then the chariot will return all right and gather up the rest all right now um let's deal with that in scripture it's going to be simple i'm not going to go too deep we know that when you get revelation the uh seventh chapter it gives you as a matter of fact i'll get it here and we'll go back to that revelation the uh, seventh chapter gives you the order in which the, the the deliverance of the children of Israel will be had, okay? As you start in this chapter, it talks about the servants of the Heavenly Father being sealed, okay? And then, here you go. When you read 7 and 1, it says, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there was sealed 140 and 4,000 of all the tw tribes of the children of Israel. Then it goes through all of the 12 tribes, okay? And this is when, when Yahweh Shai returns, what is he going to do real quick? He's going to gather his elect from the four corners of the earth. Okay. Simple scripture, Matthew 24, 
and 31, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to another. This is not just talking about the 144,000, and let's prove it. Let's prove it. Okay? So when you get Revelation, the seventh chapter, it's talking about those who are sealed. All right? And the governing body is going to be the 144,000, and it's giving you the tribe of Judah, Asher. And as you go down, okay, after it gives you all 12,000 of the governing body, it says, And this I beheld, after this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number. Now, now keep in mind, you had the 144,000, and then you have a great multitude, which a lot of <laughs> Christians like to attribute this to being the heathen nation. You know, we always question, why would the Lord only save 144,000 Israelites, but then turn around and save a large multitude of heathen that, that you can't even number? Okay? A great multitude which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues. Now these are Israelites who are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Because what do we read? The Lord is going to gather his elect from the four corners of the earth. Now let's look up real briefly this word for kindred. Anytime I bring this scripture out I love to touch this point. Fula, a tribe in the New Testament all persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch of Jacob okay so you have the governing body of the 12 sons of the patriarch of Jacob the 144,000 but then there's a large multitude all right after that all right who are also going to be sealed okay these are the rest of the men women and children whom the Lord is going to have mercy on okay and after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all the nations and kindreds and people and tongues and stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. What does palms represent? Victory. All right. Peace. Okay. And they're going to have white robes. Okay. And cried with a loud voice saying salvation to our God. So they receive salvation. Okay, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. Okay, and the angels stood round about the throne, and the elders and the four beasts fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God. Okay, now when, when you keep reading, and one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these that are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? Okay, because they're going to be there as well. Now their rank won't be the same rank as the 144,000. All right, but they are a part of that first dominion. Okay, because the 144,000 are the governing body. Okay, that will sit directly at the table with Yahawashai. Okay, and he said unto them, Sir, thou knowest, and he said, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and have made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God. Okay, and serve him day and night in his temple. And the, and the throne in the temple represents Yahawashai and the elect. Okay, and these are all going to be ushered into that new covenant first under Yahawashai and the 144,000. Okay, and serve him day and night because the laws are going to be written in them. They're going to get new bodies as well. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them, and they shall hunger no more, thirst no more. All right, neither shall the sun light up on them nor any heat and that doesn't mean the sun ain't going to be there but we're going to be complete now let's also get ezekiel 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 the uh 36 chapter ezekiel 36 and 19 and i scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way according to their doings i judged them and when they entered among the heathen, whether they went, they profaned my holy name by our actions. You know, that's why we were, you know, looked at as a no people. Okay. But as you keep reading. And 23. I started 24. And when I, for I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and bring you into your own land. Okay. And that's. 
that's going to happen. Now, let's get the book of 1 Corinthians 15 and 22. Okay, it says, For as in Adam all die, even so in Hamashiach shall all be made alive. Okay, the sons of God are back. We fell under Adam. We rise under Yahawashai forever. Okay, no more mistakes. No more sin. All right, no more struggles with death. We're all going to be made alive under that order. Okay, and the order is what? But every man in his own order. So when Yahawashai returns, all will be delivered, but there will be an order amongst that delivery. Every man in his own order. Hamashiach, the first fruits. Now, who are the first fruits? Okay. The 140 and 4,000. Okay, I know you all know the, the precept, but when we teach, we have to make sure that we address even those who may not know. So, Revelation, the 14th chapter. All right, the new song is uh, these 144,000. Revelation 14 and 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood upon the Mount Sinai, and with him 140 and 4,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Right? These are the, this is the governing body. Mount Sinai represents the temple. All right. On what Jerusalem set. All right. And the temple will be Yahweh Shai and the believers. Okay, starting with the 144,000, Tabernacle of David. This is the government having his father's name written in their foreheads. The victory, all right, will be gotten through Yahweh Shai and those 144,000. That's the importance, all right, of them. Their sacrifice, preaching of this word, will lead to the kingdom of heaven being brought into existence. But that word is given unto them directly by Yahweh Shai from the Most High, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai is the word. The word is sealed in the minds of these these elect men, 144, to come onto the earth and preach it into existence. They sung the new song. And those who had ears to hear believed on that new song. Now, as you read, okay, Revelation 14 and 4, 144, these are they which were not defiled with women, okay, the different philosophies, for they are virgins, okay, in spirit, okay. These are they which follow the Lamb, the followers of Yahawashai, okay, which the 12 disciples were symbolic of the 144,000, okay? Although there were more disciples, the 12 represented, all right, his hardcore followers who he supped with, okay? And we know that there's going to be 12,000 out of each tribe who are going to sit at the table with the Lamb, Okay? For they are virgins, these are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. Like you got ISUPK saying John the Baptist wasn't a follower of Yahweh Shai, therefore he wasn't in the truth, where he was chosen from the foundation of the earth as a follower of the Lamb. He's been following the Lamb. When he came onto the earth, he had his lot and his job to do, all right, to bring the, the hearts of the children back to the Father and the hearts of the fathers to the children. But he's a follower of Yahweh Shai from the foundation of the earth, man. Okay? And these follow the Lamb whithersoever you go. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. Now, when we look up this word first fruits, as we always do, okay? The word first fruits. A park, a parque, eh? all right, just to get to the point. Because we were first born in the heavens. So persons superior in excellence to others of the same class. So these 144,000 have a rank. All right, And they're all men. They have a rank above all other Israel men. They're going to be the direct governing body under Yahweh Shai. Okay, what did he say? You should sit at the table. Let's look that up real quick. You're going to sit directly at the table with him, man. This is uh, Luke 22 and 29. And I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed me. We're going to be joint heirs. And all Israel is going to be good under that order, man. Can't take away that order. Okay. That ye may eat and drink at my table. Okay. In my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Now that's another 
topic that we have to deal with because when we come down from those uh, uh, chariots, New Jerusalem, we're going to judge, okay, and purge out the rebels amongst Israel, okay, which we'll get to that maybe here in another video. Now, at that time when we're judging, there may be some that we have, you know, uh, mercy on. But the bottom line is when Yahweh Shai returns, he's gathering the 144,000 and that large multitude. Okay, that ye may eat at my table. Let's look up this word table in the kingdom. That word table represents what? Trap, trap, daza, trapeza. Okay. A table in which food is placed. The table of the temple at Jerusalem. Okay, the priesthood, right? Um, go to the point. The table stand of money changes where he sits exchanging different kinds of money for a fee, paying back with interest. Because what? What does the scripture say? Let's, let's get the, the blessings in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. So we're going to be the bankers, the leaders of the new world to come under Yahweh Shai. Deuteronomy 28. Okay. Let's see. And let's see. This whole thing is beautiful, but 12, the Lord shall open unto he his good treasure, the heaven, okay, to give the rain unto thy land in his season and to bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations and thou shalt not borrow. Now, this is the, the blessing of the 144,000. Okay, we're going to sit on judge, thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel, showing you that there's still going to be some rebels that have to be purged. Because once all Israel is brought under the covenant, there's not going to be any point in us judging any of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. But that's another lesson for another time. The proof on what we're bringing up is here. First Corinthians 15 and 22. For as in Adam all die, even so in Hamashiach shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order. Okay? Every man in his own order. Hamashiach, the first fruits, Yahweh Shah and the 144,000. Afterward, they that are Hamashiachs at his coming. You see that? Afterwards, they that are Hamashiachs at his coming. When he comes, okay, he's going to gather the first, the first fruits will be put in their order. And after that, they that are Hamashiachs that is coming. That's the rest of the men, women, and children whom the Lord have had mercy on. And the proof that all of these will be gathered together, all right, is just that they all have different ranks. You see what I'm saying? The proof that they're going to be gathered together is here in 2nd Edras. Okay, 2nd Edras, the second chapter. Let's see here. I start at uh, 37. Oh, receive the gift that is given unto you and be glad, giving thanks unto him that led you to the heavenly kingdom. Arise and stand up. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. So the question is, is this just talking about the 144,000? Let's see. Which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Now remember... That large multitude were dressed in all white as well. Take thy number, O Zion. Okay? Measure the temple. <laughs> okay? And shut up those that are clothed in white and have fulfilled the law of the Lord. Now let's go back to Revelation real quick. The 14th chapter. What does it say about these uh, these uh, large multitude, man? Okay? Uh, Salaki, Revelation, the seventh chapter. <laughs> Revelation 7 and 9. And after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Okay, clothed with white robes. The large multitude clothed with white robes. Let's go back to 
with Ezra saw. And 40, 2nd Ezra 2 and 40, take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those that of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. Take the number of thy children whom thou longest for. Okay, the number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hallowed. And they're going to be hallowed, set apart in their own order. And we know the order is the 144 under Yahweh Shah, under the second Adam. Then those who are Yahweh Shah's that is coming, his elect. Okay? Now watch this. I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number. Now wait a minute. You can number the 144,000, all right? But a large multitude, go back here, Revelation chapter uh, 7 and 9, and after this I beheld a large multitude which no man could number, okay? Which no man could number. So you have the 144 and the large multitude which no man could number. As Ezra's is seeing his vision, Okay, he's seeing all of them together. Okay, I, Ezra, saw up on the Mount Zion, and we know it starts with 144,000, a great people whom I could not number, and they all praise the Lord with songs. Okay, now the, the thing is, when you get Revelation, the 15th chapter, as we brought this out last night, Revelation, the 15th chapter, okay, it's saying when we're on that chariot, we're going to sing the song of Moses. And what did we have victory over? Revelation 15 and 2. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast, over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass having the harps of God. And they sung the song of Moses. Now, are you saying only the 144,000 is going to have victory over those things? This is only 144,000? And all the rest are still going to be on earth without the victory over these things. And then we're going to come back and get them. No, the Lord is going to gather up all of the elect. All right. At that point. Okay. And we're all going to be singing. All right. Now, when we come down, as the scriptures say. In uh, Revelation 21. And two, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. At this point, when we come down, there will be Israelites on the earth. And we're going to judge the 12 tribes of Israel. Now, at that point, it may be one we have mercy on. We know we're going to purge out the rebels, according to Ezekiel, the 20th chapter. All right, which, Lord, will I get into that? At some point today or, or, or in the coming days. All right. But that does not take away from the fact that since we're going to purge out the rebels and maybe, you know, have mercy on some. Because you can see at that point, you know, it's, it says that a lot of people ain't going to be repenting, man. Talking shit, you know, still bugging. There were particular niggas who were just created to be destroyed. But the elect, all right, under Yahweh are going to have direct they're going to have that direct pleasure of purging out the rebels. Now, at that point, if there's some we have mercy on, then so be it. But that doesn't take away from the fact that when the Lord returns, okay, uh, 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 all of the elect will be gathered. Okay? He saw a great people whom he could not number. And they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than the rest and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted so this shows you the order because of course we know the women ain't gonna put get crowns put on their head we don't even know where they're gonna be we know they're gonna be safe we know that the rest of the men women and children are gonna be gathered and and and, and but i can't tell you exactly what chariot which section which gonna how it's gonna be i can't tell you that but what we do know is that it's gonna be a great feast and each member of the elect, starting with the 144, are going to get their crowns. Because we're going to be a nation of kings and priests. But the order of it starts with Yahweh and the 144. We deal with order here. So Yahweh Shah is coming to gather all of the elect. Okay? When he uh, 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 comes back. 
not just the 144,000 and the rest will be left behind. It's clear right here, man. And in the midst of them, there was a young man, this is Yahawashah of a taller stature, taller than the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set a crown. It was more exalted, which I marvel at greatly. Okay? And however the women, you know, whatever rank, you know, because they're going to be given, you know, to the particular men, you know, whenever the Lord takes care of that, he'll take care of that. But we're, we, we're, this is speaking of us getting set up according to our authority and rank under Yahweh Shai, man. So the rest, you know, could be around praising the Lord. It's going to be, you know, loud singing songs. It's going to be a great ceremony, man. However, the Lord has it done. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? And he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and have put on the immortal and have confessed the name of God. Now are they crowned and received palms, man. Okay? And we know the order of that according to what we read in Revelation, the seventh chapter. Okay? Revelation, the seventh chapter. Is the 144. Okay, and then the large multitude, man. Okay, the angel said these are those who have, what? What did the angel say that these were? When they asked who were the rest of these in, in, in a raven and white robes. He said these are they which came out of great tribulation, meaning they're going to be delivered as well. And have washed their robes and have made them white in the blood of the lamb. Therefore, they, are they before the throne? So, right there, what we just showed you is that when Yahweh Shah returns, let's see, let's see if we can get that. Just as the scriptures say, in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, shows you right here, 1 Corinthians 15, that when he returns, for in, as in Adam all die, even so in Hamashiach shall all be made alive. The, the first to come to life are going to be the 144 and the large multitude. That's the first dominion. But every man in his own order. Hamashiach the first fruits, which is the governing body. Afterward, they that are Hamashiachs that is coming. Now in dealing with all of these other arguments, you know, Malachi 3. Get that real quick. Malachi 3 and 18. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and serveth him not. When we come back off of those chariots in Ezekiel, the 20th chapter, and I'll go into this later, Lord willing, but um, it talks about how the, the rebels will be purged out, man. Okay? Okay. Talks about the rebels, man. Let's see, where is that written? Let's see. Okay, them statues. I forget where it's at. Ezekiel 20. I think it's Ezekiel 20. Yep. Verse 33. As I live, saith the Lord, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm will I pour fury, and with fury poured out will I rule over you. Because what does the scripture say? He that would not have me to rule over, you bring me, bring him forward and slay utterly. The, the elect are going to have that pleasure of purging out the rebels directly. That's why the scriptures say, the keys were given unto the house of David. All right, Who's, whosoever sends you bind, you bind them. So whosoever sends you loose, you loose them. So direct judgment is going to be given into the hands of the 144,000 under Yahweh Shai, man. You see? 
and I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of all of the countries where you were scattered with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people. And there will I plead with you face to face because you're going to have to deal with his servants under Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Like as I plead, pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I plead with you, meaning... There's a particular amount of Israel because all Israel ain't going to be beamed up. But what happened at the time of going into the, the, the promised land? There was a generation that had to die off, man. Same thing applies here. There's a generation of you niggas, as the scriptures say in Wisdom of Solomon 3, I believe, horrible is the end of that unrighteous generation. We have to purge you out. Okay? Just like Moses and Aaron it was in the, in the Levites. You know, uh, uh, when they were worshiping the calf, Moses was like, if you're down with the Lord, stand over here. If you're not, you know, uh, stand and, and take out your sword. We're going to slay and purge out the rebels, man. Okay? In the wilderness, the world is going to be, because after this place is destroyed, there may, you know, Apostle Gabar says, South America. All right? Hey, you people, wherever you are, hey, we're going to come get you, man. Like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I plead with you, said the Lord. And I will cause you to pass under the rod and will bring you into the bond of the covenant. Okay, so certain of them will be, uh, 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 you know, mercy will be given to. That does not take away from the fact that when Yahweh Shai returns, the large multitude under the 144,000 will be gathered as well, man. Okay. And I will purge from among you the rebels and them that transgress against me. And I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn. And they shall not enter into the land of Israel. You shall know that I am the Lord. So the elect, when we come down New Jerusalem, we're going to have, all right, we're going to have direct judgment over purging their asses out. Now, if there's one who ultimately uh, 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 we have mercy on, then so be it. All right? But when they die, they're going to go back to the spirit world and they'll, they'll return those rebels as righteous Israelites, man. That's why it says in Romans, the 11th chapter, through your mercy, they're going to obtain mercy, man. But they're going to be out of there. They're gonna we, We're going to off the rest of the two-thirds that are still here on the earth, man. Romans 11, let's see here, Romans 11 and 28, as concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake, but as touching election, they are beloved of the Father's sake, so they had to be enemies for the gospel's sake, for the gifts of, of, the, for the gifts of calling of God are without repentance, the Lord from the foundation of the earth has slated all Israel to be righteous. But for the gospel's sake, some of them had to be wicked. For as in times past ye have not believed God, yet now have obtained mercy through their unbelief. Because you can't have the two-third, I mean the one-third, the elect, without the two-third undesirables. All right, they both, all right, uh, uh, qualify one another. <laughs> okay? The two-thirds is the two-thirds, the one-third is the one-third. For as in times past ye have not believed yet now have obtained mercy through their unbelief. Even so, have these also now not believed that through your mercy, they may also obtain mercy. So through the elect being set up, eventually all Israel will be brought back into the bond, man. You see? But for the purpose, for the purpose of the Lord's story, particularly Israel is going to be wicked, man, and be uh, destroyed off. But eventually those, those spirits are going to come back and obtain mercy through the mercy that will be given to the 144 and the large multitude, man. Okay? Now, that, 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 that's, that's hardcore. Now, the last scripture I'm going to get is um, Keys of David. Keys. Uh, 
Yep, this is it. This is uh, Matthew 19 and 18. And he's speaking to Peter. Peter is the head of the church, the house of David. All right, this is uh, Matthew 19 and 17. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona. For flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Meaning this house would have the secrets. All right, starting with David, tabernacle of David, mercy. And I say unto thee, thou art Peter, upon this rock will I build my church. This is David. All right, if you have ears to hear, this is the head of the church. The tabernacle of David. Okay, the tabernacle of Peter. Okay, the church. Okay. And upon this rock will I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is how all Israel is going to be set up in order. It starts with David under Yahawashai, man. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Okay? And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. see yep john 20 and 23 whosoever sins ye remit they are remitted unto them and whosoever you sins you retain they are retained so right here judgment is going to be given into the house of david he's given peter the keys he said that i will build my church all right and the gates of hell shall not prevail we will get victory over everything through these men okay and the gates of hell, build gates of hell, shall not prevail. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. So that means you, you, you got, you got keys to the entrance. You're allowed to let people in. You're allowed to tell people no, they can't come in. That honor is going to be given to the elect who are going to judge the twelve tribes of Israel. So when we come down from that, that, that heavenly, you know, feast in the heavens and come down from, from, you know, with our new bodies. You know, at that point, <laughs> we're going to come down and get busy. So there may be an Israelite we have mercy on through the Spirit as, at this point. But that doesn't take away from the fact that the, the, the elect are all going to be gathered at the same time under the 144,000 of Yahawashai when Yahawashai returns. So I just wanted to touch on those topics. Lord willing, we'll go uh, deeper into some of these topics in due time if, if the Spirit permits. But I just wanted to touch on that. Hopefully I will edify Shalom.